beginners. So I think a simple spell is to light the flame of a candle and to sprinkle a circle of salt around the area that holds the candle and you. And then write down on, on a piece of paper what it is you want to accomplish in very simple statement, maybe a sentence or two. And then burn this in the flame of the candle, all the while concentrating very dynamically upon the effect of the flame. And when you have burned this to an ash, then you know that what you want is about to come your way. The main purpose in the practice of witchcraft is to generate within yourself a very high level of energy that will then carry you successfully through all situations. So the main point is to psych yourself up and reach some kind of an emotional, physical, intellectual high. And this is done through a very rigid discipline method of performing the ritual. The people who say they are witches, and there are very many thousands of them in the United States, may or may not be witches. That I don't know. I haven't gone through any special sort of a research or survey on this. But there are very many thousands more who don't say they're witches, who do practice. There are men who are in very high office who utilize the abilities of witches and uh, who are convinced that these things work. And scattered throughout the world, I, I couldn't say them, probably are millions. Witchcraft only works so long as the witch is capable of sustaining the energy needed. And I think the witch is at times able to uh, falter. So now you have to be obs obsessed with what you're doing. You have to become completely involved in it and almost psychopathic about getting the thing you want. And if you're not able to sustain that high pitch of uh, psychosis and obsession, then you don't do it. You, you can't cast the spell. So it works so long as you work at it. And it doesn't work when you become a little bit normal. I always feel that like there is a value of witchcraft as opposed to just there being a psychic. I think psychics are a very passive lot. And a witch utilizes that same ability to sense and know and feel. But she sends out information rather than really receives it. And she's able to activate uh, conditions and stimulate the environment in certain directions. I am psychic, but I use it in another way. I can just receive thoughts. It's too passive a role for me. Uh, do you think that most people have the ability to become a witch? No, I don't. I don't think most people can become witches any more than most people can write or dance or sing or paint. I think you're born with the ability. You don't have to be born into a family of witches, but you definitely have to be born with the emotional capacity. And in the same way that everyone can't 